Hi guys and welcome to this web design video using Website X5 Professional. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we're continuing on with our little site build here. Yesterday we sort of did the header and footer. While we're here on the website settings page, I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday at all. When you put in your website title here and the description, this is what's going to appear in Google searches and other searches. If I just pull a page over. There's my regular website. That's what the title is. And this is the metadata, the description right there. And Google usually allows you to put I think it used to be 150, but I think it's gone up to 250 in the characters for the description. And you want to put a, something about your website here and include keywords that d describe your services and such. So it'll help the SEO find your site. So we'll move on. I just wanted to mention that in case I didn't yesterday. And in this video today, we're going to do uh, the typography for the site. So yesterday we put together our little header and footer sections. Obviously we've got nothing in between at the moment. And you can check out a demo of the X5 software from a link below this video. So I'm going to go down to number two, the template. Yesterday we did the structure and the content. And I'm going to check on the text field and button styles. And this is where you define the text you'll be using generally in your site here for the headings, for the page text, for any fields and buttons you may have. And you want to remember that you can set your basics here that you want to be using most of the time, but each element that you're going to use, you can overwrite these styles and have custom ones in there too. But generally, this section will allow you to set what you're going to be using most. So if we start with a heading, I'm just left clicking on heading one here. Uh, I think I'll use our dark blue color, perhaps what we've been using, or maybe not quite so dark. Now the font type, you can just click on the font type right here. And it's got several styles here, but there's you know, not a, not a great deal of styles. And if you don't find something you're looking for here, check out other font types just below here. Hit the add button. And check the ones that you want. I want a sans serif. And check the ones I don't want. I just want to check the ones I do want sans serif. And for the title, I think I'll use Montserrat. And there's a there's a huge list here actually, which is great. So I'm going to use Montserrat for my title. Now that I've added it, it should be in my list here. There it is. That's the heading one taken care of. Do I want to bold it? I think that's fine like that. And uh, let's see for my page text, let's use something like Lato or Lato. And again, this one is not in my normal list. So let's hit the other font types again, add. Again, it's a sans serif. Don't want serif. There it is right there. That was right above our monster. Okay. So we've added that. Hit OK. Now that should appear in our list here. There it is right there. And let's use C12. Try that. Okay. And if you want to, you can make your button styles here. 
By default, I haven't found any buttons that you can add. There's buttons on the contact form, but you set those in a different place. But you can upgrade and get packs with buttons on them. I'm surprised they didn't include that in the regular version. But when we go to add some buttons, I'll show you a couple of ways of doing it. We can add them with HTML or we can create an image and make a button that way. Pretty easy. Like I say, later on down the road, I'll, I'll show you how to do that. But if you want to set, set your styles here, just click on the button. It's exactly the same for all these other things here. Active links, mouse over links, visited links. And well, let's make that button bigger for a start. Say uh, 15 high, or 15 wide. Actually, let's make it proud button. Let's make it 30 wide and say 15 tall. It's fine. And I'm not going to give it a border right now. But I will make it slightly rounded. Say four. There we go. So if you do happen to add a button, you've got the button pack. That's where you, you put it right there. And of course, our text fields right here, or the input field. Again, I'd like to see them a little taller. And a little more space here. So horizontal will push that field to the right there. Give it a bit more breathing room. Vertical, obviously make the field larger. And if you're uh, slightly visually impaired like I am, years of staring at computer monitors, then you like to see things pretty big. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, drop shadow, that'll put it inside. It's up to you if you want that. That's just how to do it. Anyway, so we've, we've set our styles here. And like I say, these can be overridden in each individual block, but generally that's what I'm going to use for this site here. Let's just save that. Well, now let's put something on our page, shall we? And to do that, you just go down to the map. I'm going to click on the home page. I'm not going to keep what I'm going to do here, but I'm just going to demonstrate what we've done with that text there. So I'm going to grab a text block and just double click on it. That opens up this regular text field like we've seen before. And let's write something in here. really exciting that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this one and i'm going to make this a heading heading one and this one i'm just going to leave as it is that's normal text as you can see it's made it lato or lato however you like to say it this one should be montserrat yep it sure is and there's that blue color it's going to use so let's select this let's bang it in the middle And let's just save this. Now, at the moment, that's just going to be a tiny little text block. So what we're going to do, we're going to give it a margin top and bottom. I'll just demonstrate. Let's hit the preview. So there we are. How exciting is that? Fantastic. But uh, what I'm going to do is, is just add a bit of padding. So this is further down. And to do that, it's really easy. With any block, it's the same settings. I'm just going to go up to margin. And on the inner margin, which is the pushing the content down, if you will, I'm going to, won't do all sides. I'll just do, say, 150 top, 150 bottom. These are pixels. And you can preview, and now that text should be a lot further down the page. There we are. Now I might like my H1 text to actually to be a little larger than that. So let's 
Just put a check mark there, save that one. Let's go back to our template setting to our H1. 22, let's make it large. 36 may be too large. Let's try it. There we go, that's more like an H1. Okay, so that is typography taken care of. And in our next video, we'll work on some rows and we'll actually put some real content in here. So I hope you found that useful. If you have, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, have a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there. We've also got some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do take a look. And if you want to check out this X5, you can download a demo from below or download the full version from my affiliate link below there. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.